I don't have to cook. I don't have to cook. I don't have to cook. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Can you tell I'm excited? I don't have to cook dinner. <laughs> But I do have a lot that I need to do today. But first, I'm going to make myself some like brunch. It's more lunch, but I want breakfast for lunch, so I'm gonna call it brunch. It is about noon, and I'm really hungry. I haven't ate, I did drink some coffee, and now I'm gonna make me some yumminess. I got some potatoes in the air fryer. I've sprayed them, and I have salt, garlic powder, and onion powder. Get those going really quickly. I scrambled up an egg back here. I have that white gravy in my bowl. If you're not familiar with it, um, I do nine grams of country gravy. I use the McCormick. Pour a fourth cup of water into it. Put it in the microwave for 30 seconds stir. Put it back in for 20 seconds and let it sit and thicken. It ends up only being one point through Weight Watchers, if you follow Weight Watchers for the gravy. And then I get eggs are zero points and potatoes are zero points for me. So this whole meal is one point, which is just unbelievable because it's full of flavor, it's very filling, and it's delicious. If you haven't tried it, definitely gotta give it a try. See how it just thickens right up? And Jason likes this as well. There's times where I'll be making this and he's like, ooh, that sounds so good, so I'll make him some. And he loves it, but he loves that sausage gravy. I don't know, there's just something about that to those eggs and potatoes, it just takes it over the top. I sprayed my pan and it still got all crusty. I'm gonna grab a hint water to go with my little brunch dish. I got watermelon, blackberry, or blueberry lemon. I think I'm gonna choose blueberry lemon. Now that lunch is over with, I don't have to put in a grocery order this week, so that kind of frees up some of my time. But tomorrow is a really busy day, so I'm kind of switching it up. I wanna do all my stuff that I would normally do on Thursday, I wanna do it today, Wednesday, and then tomorrow, knowing that I'm gonna be gone most of the day, I won't even have to worry about it, it'll already be done. For Halloween, we buy our pumpkins at a local grocery store. We will probably be buying them the week before or just the week of Halloween so that they don't go bad too quickly. But I will be showing things on my Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I would love to have you come on over and subscribe, follow me. I show more daily kind of things and you'll see all the Halloween happenings over there. We still have yet to get our outside decorations up because of all that rain we just went through and we have to be careful of the wind here because we don't want it to damage any of our Halloween decorations. So all of that stuff's got to go up yet. Yeah, hopefully this weekend or the weekend after we'll be getting it. For the trick-or-treaters, we set up a table outside of our garage door and we stand out there and hand out the candy and then that way Cooper isn't, you know, the wiser to the trick-or-treaters coming to the door and we don't have to ha hassle with him while the doorbell is going off and little trick-or-treaters are yelling, trick-or-treat. <laughs> Hopefully this year it's not too overly cold, but I'm kind of worried about it because I think we are in for it. I think it's going to be a very chilly end of October and into November. I just heard that we are in for a frost in a week or two, so it's coming, it's getting closer. We also like to switch out our outside porch lights and garage lights to like a flickering flame type light, and we gotta do that, yeah. And we also have these images that we put in our windows that make it look like people are trying to get out of our windows. <laughs> I love the movie, The Christmas Story, and have you heard that they're getting out a new Christmas Story movie this year? And it's supposed to have Ralphie and Randy in it. And some of the other kids are supposed to be in it. But I, I've heard it takes place in the 1960s. I am really excited about it. I seen it on my Facebook the other day. And it looked like it had good reviews from people talking about it. But I don't want to see too much of it. Because I don't want it, you know, to give it away. But I truly hope they do this movie justice. And it's just one more thing. I can add to my Christmas movie collection. Speaking of Christmas, it's all over YouTube, all over Instagram, and I'm over here dusting my Halloween decorations, <laughs> not even thinking about Christmas right now. Oh my goodness, I can't wrap my mind around it. I was just telling my guys the other day that it's amazing to think that I'm gonna be taking down Halloween decorations and putting out Thanksgiving decorations soon, and then it's Christmas. <laughs> Hey.
taking Coop for a walk. Oh, it's just gorgeous outside today. It's like 70s, oof, it's beautiful. That was a little break in my cleaning. I didn't want to come back home. <laughs> it is that beautiful outside. We were walking along and Justin goes, wow, it's gorgeous out here. I'm like, yeah, let's go a little further on our walk, you know, for the mail walk today. And he's like, okay. So we kept on going, went right past the mailboxes, kept going all the way down. <laughs> it's just gorgeous out there. So anyway. Now I need to finish my cleaning. I only have a little bit more to do and then the house will be dusted and shiny and clean for the week weekend. <laughs> I am trying really hard not to get too overly excited about Christmas. It's hard not to. It is one of my favorite holidays. I look forward to it every single year. Can we just take a moment and adore how Cooper come over to give me lovin's? Oh, melts my heart. I love all of the lights, and I think that's why I like my little Halloween tree. It kind of calms that down a little bit. It lights up just that little corner of the room, and it just kind of satisfies me, but it's, oh, it's just nothing like Christmas lights. Give me all the twinkly lights. I love them. I love everything about Christmas, going out and even driving around with hot chocolate or coffee and looking at Christmas lights, all the Christmas movies, you know, all those feels of it, baking and the smells of the candy candles lit and reading Christmas devotions. Do you have a Christmas devotional that you are into? Let me know in the comments below. I have one that I'm going to be reading this year and I will be showing that to you in an upcoming video. Although I don't have to cook dinner today, I am going to cook. I just was thinking about this. So for my next two meals, I need shredded chicken and tomorrow is going to be busy. So I thought, why not, while I had the opportunity to go ahead and put my chicken in my pressure cooker and get it shredded up for tomorrow's meal. Well, the next day I need shredded chicken for that one too, for Friday, so I might as well just do all of it in the pressure cooker and get it all shredded and then I don't have to worry about it. That's one more step I won't have to worry about for the next couple of meals. So we're gonna head out to the garage. Ooh, they look like they're a little frozen still. They should be good in the pressure cooker though. That should cook them through pretty good. I'll just set it on a little longer to cook. I always cook mine in chicken broth. So I'm gonna get some chicken bouillon. One cup measuring cup. I'm gonna pour that chicken broth all over the chicken. I usually pressure cook my chicken for about 10 to 12 minutes, but that is really frozen. So I went ahead and put it on high for 20 minutes. It doesn't need to cook all the way through, but if it does, it's just easier for me to shred it. So I'm gonna let that do its thing and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it, it works the way that I want it to work. It worked. Well, it's not cooked all the way through on some of them, but that's okay as long as it shreds. Okay, so I have the two meals of chicken is shredded and I have the covers just laying on here so the steam can come out. I need them to cool off. And then this bowl is two chicken breasts for Justin because he's not gonna like these two meals. So I just set his aside and I'm just waiting for him to cool off. Chicken is all cooled off. I'm gonna put that one there. And these two fit perfectly here. I'm gonna get the dishwasher emptied and get this kitchen cleaned up. There's not much. I don't even know if there's gonna be a full load in the dishwasher or not. Jason just left for his work dinner that he had to go to tonight. It is a little after six, so he will be home probably late by the time he gets to the restaurant, you know, when they get all their food ordered and visit and all that stuff. So <laughs> he will probably be tired tomorrow, but he's working from home tomorrow. He doesn't have to get up as early like he would if he were working in the office. The kitchen is all cleaned up. I went ahead and started the dishwasher. There was enough in there, especially on the top shelf, but I don't wanna have to worry about it. When I don't start it, I always forget. And then I go to empty it and I'm like, oh shoot, I forgot to start the dishwasher. So yeah, 
it's washing right now. <laughs> I love starting my morning off with a nice clean kitchen, so I'm very happy that that's done. Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you tomorrow. We're gonna be busy, so make sure you have your tennis shoes by ya. I would love for you to keep hanging around with me. Here are two more videos. If you click, I'm right there with ya.